Let's now shift focus to Pakistan, where a curious thing is happening. Killers are getting killed mysteriously. You heard that right. Terrorists are getting killed in Pakistan by unidentified assailants. In fact, over the past few weeks, the latest victim is Jaish e Mohammed terrorist Molana Rahim Ola Tariq. And this is big. Tariq was not only a key member of the terror group, he was also a close aide of Masood Azhar and was gunned down in Karachi. On the 13th of November, the Jaish terrorist was shot dead in Karachi's Orangi town. According to Pakistani media reports, Tariq was on his way to attend a religious gathering when unidentified men opened fire on him. The Pakistani police labelled it as a case of targeted killing, saying that the attackers approached Tariq and fired three shots at him. A mobile phone as well as other valuable items were recovered from him, along with uh, bullet shells. Local media reports cited Tariq's family refuting accusations of enmity. Now the thing is, this is not the first time this has happened in Pakistan. It follows a series of such incidents. In October, in a similar incident, Daud Malik was killed in Pakistan's North Waziristan. He also was a close associate of Masood Azhar and he was also the founder of Lashkar e Jabbar. Then too, the police described his killing as a targeted attack. Malik was targeted by masked men at a private clinic and the assailants managed to flee after the attack. Before that, Shahid Latif, one of India's most wanted terrorists and a key conspirator in the 2016 Pathan Court terror attack, was shot dead by unknown gunmen in Pakistan's Sial Court. And then earlier this month, on the 7th of November to be specific, a key member of another terror group, LET or Lashkar e Toiba, Khwaja Shahid, was abducted and later found beheaded. Khwaja Shahid was also believed to be involved in the 2018 terrorist attack on the Indian Army camp in Jammu and Kashmir's Sunjuwan. Three days later, on the 10th of November, another LET recruiter and commander, Akram Khan Ghazi, was gunned down by bike-borne assailants. This was in Khyber Pakhtunkhwa. Pakistani law enforcement tried to point fingers at India, but the Pakistani news outlet said infighting within the factions led to his murder. His death reportedly sent shockwaves across the ranks of, spa, of Pakistan's spy agency, the ISI. And even now, the circumstances around his abduction and killing remain unclear. No group has claimed responsibility for the attack. Isn't that strange? A terrorist is shot dead in broad daylight and the local law enforcement agencies do not know what's going on. Who is killing the terrorists in Pakistan? Are we to believe that the same establishment that aids and abets terrorists has no idea about who is attacking them? These incidents appear to follow a pattern, bearing a striking resemblance to each other. The killing of Jaish e Mohammed's Molana Rahim Ula Tariq is reportedly the seventh time that a terrorist most wanted in India has been gunned down in Pakistan. In total, there have been at least 19 such killings, 19 of them, just this year. So who is behind these attacks? Who is conducting these hit jobs? Tariq's death has reportedly shocked the Pakistani law enforcement. They were quick to say that the death of a terrorist at the hands of unknown assailants was in itself an act of terrorism. Ironic, isn't it? Reports say infighting within the terror ranks led to the murder of Rahim Ula Tariq. You see, the Pakistani establishment, which has turned the country into a safe haven for terrorists, seems to be reaping what it has sowed. I'm talking about its brazen support for terror groups in the country. And now the deaths of terrorists in just a matter of months have spooked the Pakistani deep state. Why, you ask? It's because they continue to pump millions of dollars into arming and supporting these terrorists. It's no surprise then that the Pakistani establishment is spooked. But what explains this? Internal divisions? Rivalry? We don't have the answers to those questions at the moment. What we can say for sure is that there is a pattern and we will be closely following this story for the latest developments. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the updates on the move.